Hello friends. Happy Saturday. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all the makeup and the tools and the products and everything that I'm going to be sharing and showing you guys how to use. Okay, let me put my hair up. I hope you guys are all having a good weekend. It is like so gloomy here today. I live in San Diego, if you guys didn't know. And it's never gloomy. I don't know how you people that live in like the Pacific Northwest live because I would be like, where's the sun? Hello, hi guys, hi Kaylee, hi Julie, hi Heather, thanks for being here, hi Christine. Alright, so, um, don't mind my crazy hair, just like threw it up, but um, we're going to be doing my favorite fast coverage with school already in session for a lot of you guys, and or like us, our kids uh, start school in the first. Um, I am all about that fast makeup look. I need to get the kids in, out, everything. Oh my gosh, congratulations, your wedding day. I'm so happy for you. Hi, Becky. Hi, Katie. Hi, Danielle. Um, so I'm going to show you my favorite coverage. That's fast. It's flawless. It's hydrating. It's so, so good. Ooh, Arkansas, that's hot. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Trinity. You guys are all here. Awesome. So excited that everyone is logging on. Make sure if you haven't yet, make sure, make sure, make sure. Bottom left hand corner, you click that little button. Thank you. Hi, Fran. Hi, Jana. I'm so bad at pronouncing names, so I so apologize if I misread your name. Hi, Angel. What's your favorite tanner that doesn't streak? Morgan, I got you, girl. This is the one I use that I'm wearing right now. I put it on every other week-ish, sometimes every three weeks. Glow Pro Tans, I use the 10%. It's amazing. 10% um, mousse is what I use. And then use the code Rhea to save on that. Oh no, I'm praying for you, Julie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Janice. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Julie. Hi, Tanya. Oh my gosh, right? Manifest is so good. I'm so addicted. All I want to do is just like lay in bed right now and watch it. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Diana. Aw, thank you. You're the best. Thanks for watching. Ooh, a hurricane there too, Barbara. Ooh. I've never been in a hurricane or like been near one. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I live in Southern California, so we're more like fires and earthquakes. <laughs> Those are our natural disasters. Gloomy day. I know it's just a gloomy day, huh, Sienna? Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Donna. I know, seriously, it's just, it's one of those days. June gloom, like, waited. I don't know. It's like August, right? Yeah. It's like almost September, which is crazy. Hi, Kate. Hi, Lizette. What's the best primer for pores? Mattifying face primer. Dawn, I would grab this one. It's what I'm wearing right now. Mattifying face primer is phenomenal for, um, like, uh, blurring your fine lines in your pores. Highly recommend. I also would recommend to do my pre-makeup routine, which is setting spray, primer, setting spray. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Diana. Hi, Vicky. I know. My energy, it's not natural. It's bang. <laughs> Sponsor me, bang. Hoping this look will be good for those very human Illinois days and nights. I got you. We are going to talk all about the Touch Behold setting powder. That's what I would get for you. Hi, Diana. Hi, Maria. Yuma for me. Oh, I've been, my mom has a house in Yuma. Did you get the tattoo gel code fix? They're, okay, I love their products, but their customer service is the worst. <laughs> like, even collaborating together, they're in Australia, which it took me a long time to realize. Again, I'm, like, so bad at geography. Like, I couldn't tell you where Arkansas is. <laughs> I failed geography twice, and luckily he was with my uncle's friend. They played baseball together, and that's the only reason I passed. So, I'm glad I passed, but I probably should have learned 
Anyway, I didn't know Australia was like on like the other side of the world. So here I'm getting frustrated that they're like, yeah, tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, tomorrow. And they're like, no, the next day. Cause they're like already a day ahead. So, uh, yeah, you can try reaching out to them and use the code. I think it was Rhea 50, um, for that, um, for that code for the tattoo numbing cream. Oh my gosh, right, Heather, the pre-makeup routine is seriously amazing, life-changing. If you haven't tried it, if you, again, aren't sure what we're talking about, it's the Touch Bold Setting Spray and the Mattifying Face Primer. <laughs> Not sponsored yet. Um, so if you go to my website, rayahope.com, I made this website. Have you guys checked it out? Do you guys like it? If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Scroll down, you're going to see a blue box. Not the contact sheet, the blue box. And you can put in your info. Anywho, um, setting spray, primer setting spray is what I use. I swear by it. Awesome. Hi, Jane. Thanks for being here. Hi, Casey. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, stay safe from the fires. What energy drink? So this is called a bang is what they're called. They taste pretty good, but there's no calories. There's no sugars. There's no nothing, nothing, nothing. And they're very packed with, I think it's a lot of caffeine. But anyway, I can, I can only drink like half of one of these as opposed to like a full Red Bull. But they're like zero, zero, zero. I get them on Amazon. Unless they want to sponsor me. <laughs> oh, stay safe from the floods. Oh, that's odd, Judy. Um, make sure to maybe subscribe again. Maybe you accidentally clicked unsubscribe. Sometimes those buttons can be tricky. Um, but after you subscribe it will send you another email asking you to confirm your subscription. So make sure you confirm. Hi, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down here. Oh my gosh, Sherry, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. I talk too much. I usually don't talk a lot. So that's funny that you said that, Connie, because I actually go right into makeup. So I think you'll like some of my other tutorials, but teach your own. What's the best uh, if you don't like the matte finish in regards to primer or foundation? So, Darlene, funny you should ask, that is what we're going to use today. And as far as primer goes, I would do the hydrating primer. And the foundation, I would do the stick foundation for you. Comment color match down below if you need any help picking out your products. Oh, nice, Huntington. That's cool. Do you know when we'll be coming back to Flawless 4? I do not. They always surprise us with that. But it's usually only once a year. Last year was twice a year, but we've had some like turnover with management and corporate. So I think we'll probably go back to the once a year thing. But I always tell you guys, I like, like scream it from the rooftops when that deal comes because it's such a good deal. Oh yeah, I'm so glad you guys like the website. Check it out on a desktop. It's better on a desktop. I built it on a desktop. And then after the fact, I looked at it on a, on a phone. I was like, dang it. <laughs> It's still good on a phone, but it looks better on a desktop. I got my fan from Amazon, Tammy. Oh, thank you. Yay, Kayla. Can't wait to see them on you. All right. <laughs> thank you, Kaylee. From my SeaWorld. Oh, nice. We love SeaWorld. Back of the neck tattoos. I do. I have one. I always forget what side it's on. This side. It's balloons. My mom likes to say, tell your hot air. <laughs> but my dad was a surfer and we'd always drive by the hot air balloons rising here in San Diego. And it was just like happy memory. So you can, can go to spam. Oh yeah. Or promotions inbox. So yes. Good, good, good. So yes. Make sure you check your, um, your, uh, your spam folder for my newsletters. You don't talk as so much. You're right. You don't talk. I try not to. I try to limit my talking because I always think like what I like. And when I watch tutorials, I'm like, I want to see you put on your makeup. That's why I'm here. But I also want to like know them a little bit. So I try not to talk in every tutorial. Well, I talk in every tutorial, but usually only about makeup. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. Yeah, I miss you guys too. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do our stick foundation. If you tuned in, 
now it's time for makeup. So on my skin already, like I've said four or five times, setting spray, primer, setting spray, and then we're gonna do our stick foundation. So like my tutorial says, this is the best coverage for those fast, gotta run, out the door, mommy days. Um, I love it because you can literally mark it up just like this. You could literally put this on the car. That's how easy it is. It's no mess. It's no fuss. So you literally just paint your face with it. I'm using the shade Taffeta today. And now we're going to go in with the blending buds. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. You guys are awesome. And if you guys need any help with makeup, just comment color match down below. If you're not sure what colors you are or what products you are, just comment color match. It's not going to trigger any spam. It's not going to trigger any craziness and it's free. It's just me. I see color match and so I know I need to message you. So um, if you need help picking out your makeup, I see the word color match and so I'll go back through these live tutorials after I get off because obviously I'm live um, and I can't message you. So I will go back through and message those who I see that said color match and then I'll um, ask you for a selfie facing a window. Can be with makeup or no makeup. The no makeup is better, but I can color match you off both only because I've been working with this makeup for almost six years. Craziness. Um, and I've been, I've done this makeup on so many people over the last six years. So I know how it works, how it oxidizes, how it doesn't oxidize, what color you are, what shade you should be, what product you should use. Um, not to toot my own horn. Um, so I just need a selfie facing a window. So facing that window, for example, let me show ya. So you're gonna take your phone. So here's the window behind me. You're gonna take your phone and you're gonna put it right in front of that window and take a picture and then send that to me. So doing that is really gonna help me give you an accurate, rec accurate uh, color match. My color match that I'm using today is the shade Taffeta. Love this color. It's like a perfect match for me right now. But that was one coat you guys applied with the blending buds, which I'll go into how amazing these are. But look at that soft coverage. Boom. Done. Set it out the door. Right? So I love this. Um, yes, yeah, so you could do moisturizer, setting spray, primer, setting spray. I would just make sure that you're leaving enough time between the like products to let them saturate into your skin. All right, so I'm going to go over just a little bit more on my trouble spots. I have a little bit of blemishes down here from, I always break out when I wear a lot of sunscreen. We just got home from Mexico the, a couple days ago, so time to <laughs> rebuild my skin. So I would go ahead and blend this in all over, and then, like I said, I'm applying it on the with the blending buds these are dense they're not like your everyday beauty blender you get at like target or walmart or whatever they're amazing at making your makeup look really smooth on your skin so love applying it i love these applying any foundation liquid stick spray you name it but especially the stick so the stick foundation is going to be more of your hydrating almost like a cream foundation so if you love a cream foundation you will absolutely adore this it is full coverage it is hydrating and is not dry drying whatsoever. It's phenomenal. I do recommend that you apply your primer underneath it 100%. Um, and don't judge it from putting it on. As soon as you put it on, you will see your pores. I'm just going to burst your bubble with that. But you're going to apply it with the blending bud and it compresses it down and blends it out. So it's very soft on your skin. All right. So now we're going to go in with our skin solution concealer in the shade lace. And let's do one eye. And I'm going to cover these little blemishes. I love this concealer so much. It not only brightens up your under eye, which makes you look more wide awake, more youthful, but it also has caffeine infused in it. So it's amazing if you have a lot of puffiness or a lot of loss of elasticity on your under eye area. And it's super incredible coverage. It is super opaque, meaning you can't see through it. So I went ahead and applied it on one eye. I'm using it in the shade Lace today. I think I have a little hair there. Okay. So here I've applied it on one side. Just the difference on how bright my under eye looks versus that side and the darkness that you see here versus here is just amazing. So love the concealer so much. Yes, I like the blending buds better than any brush, better than any application. I love it so much. It's my, they're my favorite. <laughs> and they lowered the price on them. I don't know, like two or years ago, and I wrote corporate, and I was like, you better not be discontinuing those. <laughs> and they're like, we're not. We're just lowering the price to match 
competitors and I was like oh okay okay good they used to be $25 and now I think they're 17 and you get two you get the large and the small and you get them wet so I wring them underneath water so I squeeze 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 and then I'll squeeze all the water out and then they're ready to use did you use stick foundation? Yes, I use a stick foundation in the shade Taffeta, and then now I'm using the Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Lace. So good, you guys, so, so good. Okay, so now for setting powder. Someone said, what should I wear for humidity? Da, 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 da. This is your answer. This is called the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. I popped the cap off mine so I could use it in a baking technique. And I'm gonna take a dry blending bud and spritz it with my setting spray. And then I'm going to just press it into that powder and get it on there. And then I'll go right in wherever I used concealer and wherever I get really oily or if you're in humidity. So when we were in Mexico, it was very humid. So I used this on my skin with uh, like I used a little bit of concealer just for any trouble spots. And then I put on this. So what this did is it absorbed any sweat, humidity, anything that was otherwise going to make my makeup look shiny, greasy, or come off altogether. So it's a huge, huge help. All right. So now we're going to just sweep away because this baking technique is essentially using a lot of product. And then once it goes on, then you just sweep it away and just, it's very, you leave like a very fine layer for it to absorb. All right. We'll fix that in a second. Oh man, I, I am not a fan of humidity at all. Like, at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm dying. I'm like, <sighs> I could take dry heat over humidity any day. Yes, always damp blending buds. I would never use them dry. I don't think I've, I've used them dry only by accident. Um, so always damp blending buds. Yes, the setting powder does also help to shrink the appearance of pores, so it's a really good product to use on top of your foundation. I wouldn't use it by itself in hopes that it would do so, shrink pores, although I have seen people dust it on their skin beforehand. This powder right here, which is actually really good for dry skin, it's called the Prime to Set Powder. It's also under the setting area on my website, rayahope.com, but this is actually a Prime to Set Powder, so you can actually use this underneath. So if you're like super, super dry or have really large pores, this would be an, a, a thought, an idea to apply with a tapered brush, pop that in there and then just sweep it all over your face, tap it off and then sweep again to like remove any excess and then go in with your setting spray, primer setting spray. I wonder how that would look. I love trying new things like that on people that just struggle with, you know, I'm always dry or I'm always this or I'm always that. Try new things like that. Like, I would have never thought to put this underneath my primer until I did one day. And I'm like, holy cow, this is amazing. Yeah, setting spray on top of your sponge, for sure. Creasing underneath your eyes. So, one, exfoliating is going to be amazing. And two, make sure you use the unique eye cream. I use the eye cream. It's underneath toner on, or sorry, it's underneath targeted under skincare on my website, which is, again, right here. And I swear by that concealer. I was actually on their test group for it, which means that I got it before it was launched to anywhere, anything. And I had to use it day and night. So in the morning and then before bed, and I take pictures once a day to track my progress. I was literally jaw on the floor at how toned and tight my under eyes looked. So definitely use your unique eye cream before you put on anything. It should be number one step. You wash your face, you put on that eye cream. And that's really going to help with creasing um, because it's going to tighten up that under eye because it has the caffeine infused in it too. Thank you. I know the eye cream is life changing. Um, how to send a color match. So you can either message me here on Facebook. So if you tap on my face, a description window is going to come down and you're going to see my name, Rhea Hope. Once you click on Rhea Hope, it's going to take you to my Facebook page, Rhea Hope. <laughs> and you'll see an option to message me there. You can also and or comment color match and I'll private message you either way. Um, but if you are going to come co comment color match, check your requested folder because when I message you, if you haven't, um, if we've never talked before on Facebook, my message may go to like a requested folder or a spam folder. So make sure to check those areas. You're so welcome, Sarah. I'm glad you guys are trying new things. So for powder, this is not by Unique. I comment uh, powder brush and I'll give you the link. I'll message you the link. 
Okay, so now our full coverage is done, and now we're gonna go in with our pressed powder, or I'm sorry, our bronzer, which is still in stock in the shade Sunset While Supplies Last. It's my favorite bronzer, so do not miss it. I don't know how much stock is left of it, but I'm worried it's gonna be like gone soon, so make sure to grab your bronzer ASAP. And we're gonna use the tapered blusher brush. We're gonna start at the top of the ear and work to the corner of the mouth. So what I like to do is I'll just kind of sweep back and forth just once, Tap, swirl on the cap, over here. Color match, perfect. I'll send you a link to, uh, yes, definitely, yes. The makeup brush and skincare have been a game changer for me. I struggled with both when I hit my 40s. Oh, I'm so glad you're loving your products. Color match BB, yes, you got it. I'll definitely be um, color matching you guys, or messaging. And again, make sure you check your requested folder. And if you even want to, too, you can always, like, start the conversation. Like, say hi. Um, and I will, I always check my messages. I am, like, one day behind. Um, but definitely message me, too, because that always helps. So that way, if you're worried about, like, oh, I don't want to miss your message, uh, just comment, again, color match. And if you tap on my face, a description window pop down, and you click on my name, Raya Hope, and be able to message me that way. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do our blush. So I'm going to do the shade Sisterly for the blush, which is my favorite blush color. It's super, super soft on the skin. It gives you the a really pretty illumination, and it makes your skin look so dewy and hydrated, and it has a really pretty sheen to it too. So we're going to pop this on. Look at that. That's so pretty. I can't with this blush. It's so gorgeous. He... He's on the street. He just walked out there behind my car or behind your truck. Sorry, someone rang the doorbell. Do you put eye cream on other parts of your face? So I started doing my under eyes and I started doing my laugh lines because I started seeing really good results with the fine lines. So I was like, might as well try these. <laughs> and I have been liking the results. Press powder is phenomenal. It has shea butter and vitamin E in it. It is the silkiest pressed powder you will ever use, I assure you. There's also UV protectant in it. So if you're worried about your skin with sun, which we all should be, this is phenomenal at protecting your skin. Okay, so now for highlight, we're going to do the Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly. And we're going to pop this on the highest parts of our cheekbones just like this. And it's so pretty and glowy and dewy. I love this highlight i always tell you guys if you're balling on a budget and you're trying to like get something that just like adds a little i don't know zing to your makeup look grab the highlight it's called the touch a la mode luminizer hmm chris i would probably use also in combination the rose water the rose water is a hydrator a redness reducer and a toner I think that might be enough hydration for your skin. There's also the Uology Day Cream, which has uh, boosters in it, so you can customize the day cream, um, which is on under skincare, under Uology on the website, there's an option to be able to subscribe to a subscription of skincare. You can cancel any time. You set it up yourself. You get a discount on the products, and I believe you get free shipping, too, when you sign up for that. Um... I would check that out because you can actually do like a night cream and a day cream with customizable boosters. Definitely check that out. It's under Uology. And like I said, it's, you get it on sale and it's a subscription. You can do like every three, four, six, nine months, I believe. And like I said, you cancel anytime too. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm glad I could help you, Lynn. Oily skin and all those layers cake on. I have very oily skin and all those layers cake on me. Any suggestions? Um, less is more for, and I don't say that in the regards of layers. I'm more so say that in regards of how much foundation you're putting on. So like, for example, for you, for like, if you are trying to like anti-layer, I would do like two swipes on either side of foundation and then bl use your blending bud. And then for your concealer, two dots. You know what I mean? Like less product on your skin so it doesn't feel like suffocated. Um, and then also exfoliating. Exfoliating is going to be such a game changer. It opens up your skin. It allows it to breathe so your oils can move back and forth. Also, up your water intake. I always get so oily when I'm not drinking enough water. I know it's such like a cliche thing, but it's true. Get one of those water bottles. I think mine's in the kitchen. It has like the times on it where it's like drink by 10, drink by 11. I'll link it on my Instagram after I get off here. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, 
now you have to um search me ray of hope and then you click on my profile picture and you click on it and then the stories will begin to play all right so for brows we're going to do the brow duo in the shade brown this is the pomade and this is the powder and then we're going to use the spoolie brow artist brush and we're going to line our brows with this. So I always do like a little line underneath, a little line on top, and I'll take it to the arch like so. And now we have kind of the outline. Love my face frags game changer. I use the customized skin tone, which is the best for helping fade dark spots, the brightness mask or the brightening serum. Honestly, both. I use the brightening mask because it's actually a tightener, toner, and clears your pores. So I use both. And I use the brightening serum every single night to help fade dark spots and acne scars. Okay, so now that you have like the initial outline of the brow, then I'll go into the wax and then I'll use this to lay down all the brow hair. The brow pomade and powder also have the vitamin E and the argan oil infused in it. So it's actually helping your brow hair to become healthier and fluffier as well. So I always tap it into the pomade, into the powder, underline very light handedly, top, take it to the arch. And then I'll kind of drag this front part and then color in. Go with a little more powder but if you are a fan of like the more natural brow look, this is the product for you. I feel like you get more control over it and this brush is very dainty, so you get very precise application. So if you're wanting just to kind of like darken up your brows but not fully make them look like all structured, this is a good product to grab. And if you haven't yet, it means so much to me. If you're new, say hello in the comments so I can welcome you. And then if you could click that button in your bottom left-hand corner, it always helps me out so much. Yay, I'm so excited, Joan. Thank you for your order and your support. I thank you so much. Okay, so now for eyes, we're gonna do the eyeliner in the shade Perfect. My favorite eyeliner actually stays put. Doesn't smear, smudge, or anything. So popping this on the water lines. And it's like $15. Hi, Jasmine. Or jasmine okay so pop that on and then we're gonna do a, kind of a prettier eye look not that I don't do pretty eye looks but I think this one's this one's new for me so we'll see how it looks hi Mary hi Heidi hi Cheryl awesome thanks for being here you guys for all my newbies um, if you're like I don't know what you're doing but I like it I do make and hair tutorials and also I do a lot of fashion um, outfit inspiration and ideas and home decor and stuff like that on my Instagram which my name there is Rhea Hope and then same here on Facebook Rhea Hope and then I have a YouTube channel called Rhea Hope and then I'm on TikTok as well which my name there is Rhea Hope except the O is a zero because someone already had Rhea Hope <laughs> on TikTok. So make sure you follow me on all platforms. I'm pretty consistent with posting everywhere. But for makeup and skincare, this is why I'm here. I will give you guys inspiration on what makeup looks to try. I give you guys help if you're having struggling issues with any skincare issues or makeup issues. I give you ideas and tips and tricks. And I also sell makeup and skincare. So how to purchase the makeup is this website right here, which is uniqueproducts.com forward slash Rhea Coleman. Or if you don't want to memorize that, you can just memorize my website, which is rayahope.com. And then you'll shop beauty when you click on that take you to my unique website. All right, so for eyes, we're gonna do the uh, shade Astute first, which is my favorite. Why do you put the liner on the waterline instead of by the lashes? So it's kind of both. So the waterline is like where your lashes are attached to, so I'll put it on both sides. Heidi, practice makes better, and also if you haven't tried these products yet, highly recommend, they're so easy to use. We do not have a pencil sharpener, no. Mm -mm. Hello from Wisconsin. Okay. So, how are you, what color pressed powder should I get to replace Poplin? You'll want the shade Velour. 
I wear, oh, I wear eyelet foundation. Um, do the shade eyelet actually then. Sorry, I should have read your whole comment. All right, so now we're going to do the shade impish. I feel like a broken record. This is my uh, underneath eye combo every single day. But this time I'm going to kind of focus this on the outside. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hi. Hi, Angie. Before I lost the link for your earring. I got it on Amazon. But you can message me and I'll give you the link to it. Thank you. Just saved it. 52. Absolutely. stinking lutely. My mom is actually 59. And I do makeup tutorials on her using the exact same products and the exact same colors and things like that. Um, so feel free to catch the replay of the that tutorial of my mom. But absolutely, if you need any help picking out your makeup, I don't care how old you are. Comment color match and I will message you a perfect regimen for you. Aw, thank you, Allie. All right, so now we're going to take the shade Marvelous on the angled brush, and I'm just going to drag this underneath the lower lash line. This kind of smokes out that eyeliner and just kind of gives the whole makeup look a more kind of finished look. Oh, nice, 53, awesome. Okay, so same thing here. Little underline. Oh, I love these reviews. Okay, so... Went ahead and we're like basically done, but now we're gonna do the star of the show, which is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Decisive. So those of you who are new around here, this liquid eye, these liquid eyeshadows are amazing for my mature ladies, my 50, my 60, my 70s, my 30, my 40 year olds, um, because they are crease proof and smudge proof. So they're not going to accentuate your fine lines and wrinkles on your eyelids. If you have oily eyelids, meaning if you struggle with your eyeshadow actually staying put throughout the day, this is the best. So you're going to just mark up your eye, just put it on there. And then I'll take the cream shadow brush and I'll just bounce this off my eye, which kind of like smooshes it down and blends it out. So they're very easy to use. They dry very quickly and they will stay put all day long. And I'll go ahead and link my full makeup look right here after I get off. The new foundation, I will be talking all about the new foundation as soon as it's available to you guys. I am a firm believer on, if you guys can't get it, there's nothing worse than being like, oh, I want that, and then you can't have it. It's like mean. <laughs> I've watched many YouTube tutorials where these like beauty bloggers are using a color and they're like, yeah, but you can't get this color. I'm like, well, why'd you use it then? <laughs> so. Rest assured, I actually have the new foundation too. Not in my color though, hence why I haven't used it, but it is good. But definitely make sure that you are following me on Instagram um, because I will be definitely one of the first to share the link to it. So if you aren't yet, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, which is right here, and then you turn on the bell. So you'll go to my Instagram, Rhea Hope, and there's gonna be a little bell on the top right hand corner click that and then click on turn on story and post notifications turn those on <laughs> because i am going to be one of the first people i probably even shouldn't say this i'll be one of the first people to share the link so turn on the bell <laughs> turn on the bell uh so we have our eyes done which is the shade decisive it's a really pretty like purpley color which you can hear i'll kind of swatch it so you guys can see it better which I always swatch in the most inconvenient spot to turn. But isn't that so pretty? Oh, gosh. Look at that gleam. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. So, again, this is the shade Decisive, which is stunning, especially if you love, like, a fun color. So, after I put on my liquid shadow, I'm going to go in again with the shade Astute, which is that matte brown that everyone should have. Now, this palette that I'm holding is customizable. So you get to pick the colors, you get to make the palette, and you can choose any of these colors. You can also buy them all by themselves, too. So if you're not wanting a whole, like, four palette, you can buy them individually, which they come in a little case like that. So if you just want one of the colors, you can do that, too. Everything I'm using is, again, available on my website right here. And the color in my crease was Astute, Impish, and then we did Marvelous underneath. Okay, so now that we're done with our face, now I'm gonna do my lips and then we'll do our lashes. So for lips, I'm gonna do the lip liner in the shade Punchy. And 
I'm gonna show you a little trick with your lip liner. So this lip liner is only $15. It's super creamy, it glides on, it is smudge proof, crease proof, it stays put. Obviously you're drinking or eating like a big cheeseburger or something really greasy, it might fade a little bit, but it is so good. And kind of fun fact, this is actually what made me join this company is how good these were. <laughs> okay, so here's your trick, is you're going to press it like this, like down, okay, like that. And once you do that, then you're gonna sweep back and forth. And you're probably wondering why, why would you do that? <laughs> and it's going to help to make your lip liner appear thicker, which is going to make your lips appear more pouty. Another trick is take that lip liner and put a little line there in the center and diagonal lines here. Doing that underneath your makeup, underneath your lipstick will also help to make your lipstick look a little, uh, or make your lips look a little poutier. Like your sunglasses. Oh, thank you. I know. I wish you, South Africa, I feel like is a very hard country to ship into. Okay. So now for lipstick, we're going to do the shade minted, which is this really gorgeous pastel. I'm going to put that right on top. I'm going to take my finger and blend this out, which is such a pretty color all by itself, but we're not done yet. All right. So now I'm going to take the lip gloss in the shade Lonesome, which is a really pretty pale pink. And top this. but I love our lip glosses. They're super high gloss without feeling like sticky. They're so good. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's do our lashes so we don't look weird. So I'm gonna use my setting spray first. And you're probably like, why'd you do your setting spray before your mascara? To prevent our mascara from being more wet. So if I were to do my mascara, then my setting spray, see how wet my face looks? You're just making it harder for your mascara not to smudge all over your face. So set your makeup before you do your mascara. And the reason that we set our makeup is it adds moisture into our foundation. So it helps it to expand, look softer, looks more natural on our skin, helps to prevent transferring. Super, super duper important to make sure you're that you're doing. And then also, if you're not, make sure that you're using it before and after your primer too. I got this fan on Amazon. <laughs> it's a cheapie. I think I've bought like three of them over the last couple of years. Another trick, not COVID friendly, but <laughs> remove any makeup or any lipstick that may get on your teeth. All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, lash primer first. And this lash primer is phenomenal. It helps your lashes to be so long and helps to hydrate them too. But just like how they joke around and say like, it's a crime not to prime. The same goes for your lashes. If you're not priming your lashes, I assure you, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, game changer. No, I don't do mascara after my, I'm sorry, I don't do setting spray after my mascara, no. Because my mascara will stay put. The primer will help to hold it too. Oh, I'm sorry, Glenda. I do have a customer in South Africa that has friends in other countries that will order for her and ship them to her. I don't know. Maybe that's a little loophole. I don't know. Um, yes, the facial steamer is still on sale. If you use my code RAYA15 right here, you can get it on sale. It's phenomenal. I even had my esthetician try it and she was like, oh my gosh, this is the best. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet, Pamela. All right, so now we're doing the Twisted Mascara, which this is the one that has the Argan Oil, Keratin, and Biotin infused in it. Also has the best little intentional bristle brush, so it gives you really good separation and length. And I feel like if you have really short or just like troubled lashes, if you just have a hard time with mascara, this is the one that you should get. It's also the most smudge proof besides the waterproof, obviously. And also comes with this teeny tiny little wand. So it's really good for those harder to reach eyelashes. And pop this on all over. Oh, 
And then same thing on the top. Yes, I'm wearing uh, Minted Lipstick and Lonesome Lip Gloss. Okay, so now we're going to do the 4D mascara on top, just for a little extra pizzazz. And that's it. There's our makeup. Yes, you can. So the um, Mascara Duo is going to be under the Lash Sets, and it's going to be on my website right there. Uh, Gina, so make sure to shop on uniqueproducts.com forward slash Rhea Coleman. And if you find yourself on the website, make sure that you see my name and or my photo before you check out. Because if you don't and you place your order underneath another presenter or sponsor, then I, one, don't get the credit, and two, can't help you if you have any questions about your product. So make sure to shop on my website. And if you need any help picking out your makeup, your skincare, your hair products, your outfit, just comment below and I will message you. So let me know and I'm so happy to help um, customize your guys' life. <laughs> awesome. Good for you, Glenda. Let me know how I can help. I'm wearing the palette that I made, which is the shades Astute and Impish and Marvelous. And then I'm wearing the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Decisive. And I'll go ahead and leave you guys this link right here, which is my looks tab. And I'll go ahead and upload my look right there as soon as I get off here. Oh, that's a good idea. Football cheese board. You got it, girl. Put it on my list. I actually have a really fun, um, is it Memorial Day coming up or Labor Day? I always forget. Labor Day? I have a fun Labor Day um, appetizer board reel for you guys. Droid Err from your website. Pin from the mascara, correct, yeah. Everything, all the makeup, all the skincare, all the tools, everything I use is all available right there. Yay, thank you, Marty, I'm so excited for you. I cannot thank you guys enough for your orders, it means the world. So let me know if I could be of any help. Comment below, make sure you shop on my website right there, and make sure you follow me over on Instagram and you turn on that bell. Um, turn on, Click the bell and then turn on posts and story notifications. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.